Hi, good morning folks. Yes, we're out and about this morning. It's still got that uh, tail end of a storm. Seems to be creaking about the place there. So uh, we're going out to get some rolls this morning. Have a jam roll for breakfast. And uh, probably have to queue that or anything. But hey ho, this is the new normal. So let's go and face the new normal. Look how stormy it is today, man. Look. Right, so we've got our uh, our rolls and our fudge donut. That's basically it for today, folks. We're gonna, we're gonna maybe try and go out today, but uh, it's just been too windy. So looks like we're just gonna stay in today. God damn. Right, we're in. there folks as you can see these two trees we've had here there's one there there's one just around the corner there they've been here for for years ever since i've been here and um they they still remain standing this one down here it kind of goes along and then up at an angle and um it's remained where it is through all these storms have some horrific storms i think it's because these these buildings are a sort of in the way as the wind comes up and they act as some sort of like um i don't know some sort of what do you call it some sort of like a, a wind breaker kind of thing the wind comes around and we right around the other side now there so we get some real heavy drafts coming through here some real gusts and these trees seem to take the brunt of it but take the brunt of it they do and they uh they have survived for this long i must say incredible Right, folks, I've got a couple of things to do today. The first one is I've got to saw down this uh, this walking stick so, uh, so I can actually use it. It's just a little bit too uh, too big on the hip, so I need to saw off an inch or two of this. And I've also got going saw the uh, the plant that's come through the the flower pot. It's come through, so I'm gonna have to go and sort that. Remember, I broke it. Uh, Couple of months ago, it's just over here. Here it is. There it is. So I'm going to try and saw that. Let's saw it.
like I've broken the saw. Can you believe it, man? Honestly. Instead of breaking the plant, <laughs> I broke the saw. Oh, for goodness sake. Right folks, so my, uh, my latest gardening project ends in disaster, as you can see, I broke the saw because uh, what I was supposed to do now was saw off an inch or two off the end of this walking stick so I, so I can actually use it properly, but unfortunately the plant there was too strong and I've, uh, I've broken my saw and I don't think I've got a, a replacement blade for it. Um, I'm going to have a look, but... I think that's it, knackers, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, just so it won't fit in, and that's it. I think that's it. I put it in the wrong way around, for goodness sake. Look, I put it <laughs> the serrated edge there, which is a good start. Absolutely useless at DIY and things like that, folks, as you know. So we'll. We'll try again, we'll put this in, see what happens here, see if we can So While we're out here, we may as well have a look at this uh, this amazing tree with its trunk. As you can see, it starts off facing sort of that way, heading towards the, uh, the fence, and then all of a sudden it just shoots straight up into the air. Look, it suddenly starts going straight. Amazing shape of a tree. Look, you probably get more of an idea. A lot tangled up if we go back the way here. There you see it goes there and then all of a sudden up it goes straight up. So there it goes, leans over, and then all of a sudden, boom, up it goes. There it is. Oh, so I think this tree kind of was going this way and then maybe it recognised the wall was there and then started heading up the way or was it the wind that blew it this way in the, in the first instance because when I was here when I first came here the tree was uh, just sort of quite a smaller version of itself and now all of a sudden it's just gone right up that way the roots must go right underneath right underneath the wall there so um, that's why I'm trying to get rid of some of these plants this one here as you saw folks this one here I managed just to to saw it and, and get rid of the roots but well, the roots were right down under the wall so I don't want anything loosening the wall so that's why we're, we're going around trying to saw off some of these uh, these roots but it looks like I'm gonna have to go and get myself a new blade so here's a, a multi-tool that I found in the uh, the toolbox there we've got a, a knife and a, a bottle opener right there we've also got uh, a knife, a nice big pen knife here, look at this. Crikey, quite big blade there, look at that. And uh, there's also, you push this down and that goes across and that now turns into sort of a pair of pliers um, and grippy things. So we've also got a hammer as well, we'll just put it back on again, that turns into a hammer. And I think there was also a screwdriver here. Yep, there we go. Got a, got a little Phillips screwdriver there as well. So, all in all, quite a, a decent weight to this multi tool, I must say. I think it's a Rolson. They're always really good with their their tools. So now, there you go. That's a nice, a nice handy tool in there. So, yeah, the toolbox is out, folks, because I was looking for a saw, but unfortunately, I've only got one blade on the source, I'll need to go and buy some more. 
Okay. It's at least a bit too. Well, that seems okay. I think it could be all right. Let's see how that is for walking with. Walking stick, walking stick, walking stick. Yeah, what we just do with another, another little bit off there. there Frankie, he said he would do a a, uh, a stopper for the bottom here. So I'll need to put a little bit of sort of tape and glue around that just to keep it together. But that's the size I need, Frankie boy. I'll measure that diameter. And that's me uh, sorted. Thank you. I can still use it as a whack. Right, as I said, yeah, this, was, this was my grandfather's stick. At least I think it was my grandfather's. Um, it's got this nice woven um, pattern on it. In fact, it's got a massive split right here as well. Look at that. But I think that's just part of the wood. And it seems to be fairly solid anyway, so I think it's going to remain, remain solid. So there we go. That's going to be my stick for the rest of my life, if I need it, of course. Just going to stick it back in the car in case I suddenly feel a bit woozy or a bit wonky. Uh, at least it's always going to be there for me. So, there we go. Thank you. God, DIY man, why is it always so much of a chore? <laughs> 